Hey guys, this story today is about a 40 years old woman who was arrested by the police for abduction of little kids and torture of same kids. This woman is named Rejoice um, Raymond. She was arrested alongside her aged mother who was 80 years old at the time. It all happened on the 19th of February 2021 at about 5.30 p.m. when the police stormed number 13 Akumata Mbamalu Street in um, Federal Housing. Uh, it's called 33 Area Mkweke, something like that, in Onicha. So the police stormed that resident based on intelligence that was provided so when they got there they discovered these three little kids two boys and a girl in separate rooms these little kids were tortured severely and left in the pool of their blood it was a, a very gory sight one of the kids had a broken arm you know all of them had several injuries on different parts of their body it was almost unbelievable totally seeing that a woman or women subjected those little kids to such ill treatment and there were speculations and rumors that this woman who claims to be a pastor was involved in some sort of ritual killings the police recovered in that building a mortar and pestle they recovered a bloodstained cane they recovered um, some fetish items and many people came to the conclusion that what was happening there was child trafficking as well as ritual dealings and they they, they had reasonable suspicion that um those kids that were found in that building were not the only victims some may not have been fortunate to be rescued like these three kids were fortunate to get rescued by to have been rescued by the police so when the police arrested these women they began to you know interrogate them as to how they got about those kids because apparently those were in their kids looking at the extent of torture that they had subjected those little kids to that was when um rejoice raymond the 40 years old woman who is said to be the pastor that was when she disclosed that she adopted the kids from a woman called sabina who works with the uh, ministry of women and children affairs in Anambra State. However, the commissioner for the Ministry of Women and Children Affairs in Anambra State has still debunked that Sabina works in her ministry. It was said that she works with the local government or something like that. And at the time that these women were arrested, Sabina was at large. She couldn't be found nor arrested by the police. And Rejoice Raymond claimed she, she adopted the kids from Sabina for 3.5 million naira each. Now the question is, what was the adoption for? Did she adopt them because she needed to have children? If the, question, if the answer was yes, then the question next would be then why was she maltreating them the way she was doing? Even though she came up with a defense that um, she didn't maltreat the children, she didn't torture them, that it was because they were fornicating. And I'm like, hello, what is she even talking about? These kids are barely six years old. So what is she saying? She came up with a story that didn't just add up, that she, she, met, she caught the little kids in a compromising uh, position or situation that the only girl among them was holding their genitals the two little boys genitals and that she was saying it's sweet and I'm like gosh what is this woman trying to say she said when she saw that she called Sabina the woman who she had adopted the kid from to complain to her that that was what the kids were doing and Sabina said she doesn't produce kids so in essence, I guess what she was trying to say was afterwards, 
she tortured them severely for what she claimed she found them doing. I mean, how do you do that to anyone, let alone kids as little as that age? It is a good thing that the police um, stomped into that horrible, horrible den and arrested those people. We understand that evangelist Rejoice Raymond and her mother were in police custody from the 19th of February 2021 when they were arrested up to 17th of September 2021 when they got released from police cell. Now, other allegations of kidnapping and rituals were not founded, obviously, because the police did not charge her for kidnapping or uh, anything related to rituals. She was only, they were only charged for felony, causing grievous bodily harm, starving the children and all of those. And I hope that the police will look into the Ministry of Welfare, Women and Children Affairs to know exactly what is happening there. Because Evangelist Raymond uh, Rejoice boasted that she adopted those children legally and through the ministry. So they should ensure that they look into what is actually happening in that ministry so that they will fish out the, the culprits and all the perpetrators of such illegal adoptions in the ministry. Oh well, like I said, it's good that those kids were rescued and we hope that many more who have been in custody of such people with wicked hearts will be rescued and rescued timely. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe and don't feel to turn on your notification bell so you'll be the first to know when we upload a new story. If you enjoyed watching this video, please like it. Leave your comments in the comment section on your thoughts concerning the story and don't fail to share this video. In the meantime, take care of yourself, take care of your emotions, take care of your mental health, be kind to yourself, be kind to the people around you and always be safe. I remember Dr. Sikyo Lopin, I love you.